If there's one thing we've all learned from the COVID-19 pandemic, it's that the world is grossly unprepared for outbreaks of this scale. But with the world so battered and vulnerable, are we ready to stop other global pandemics from happening? Imagine a highly infectious virus that has a death rate of over 80%. Well, this virus exists, and it's raising concerns. The largest outbreak of the Marburg virus was back in 2004 and 2005, where 90% of all infected victims ended up dying. Related to the Ebola virus, the Marburg virus can be carried and spread by fruit bats, and be transmitted to primates and other humans. When treated, the infected patient needs to be placed in the highest level of protection of the hospital to keep it from spreading to other patients or the medical staff. At the moment, there's an outbreak of the Marburg virus in Ghana. Two separate cases came into the hospital with the disease, which is extremely concerning. These people with different backgrounds and no connection both got infected within a few days of each other. This suggests that there is an underlying problem spreading the Marburg virus to people. So far, there have been cases and outbreaks of Marburg in Africa, Europe, and the United States. If this virus spreads to a major city with a dense population and lots of air traffic, this could easily turn into the next global disaster. Some scientists believe Marburg could remain dormant in the human body for up to a month, spreading to others before they show any symptoms. It wouldn't be unlikely for this disease to make its way to Eastern countries, the US or Europe. It's happened several times in the past and it could happen again. This single outbreak in Ghana is far from the end of Marburg. The disease can be transmitted to humans through fruit bats and primates that are common in most African, Southeast Asian and Eastern Asian countries. Marburg can be transmitted through touch. So all it would take is for a tourist to pet a cute little monkey and fly home to New York for this to turn into another global pandemic. Since we don't have any current treatments for the virus, if a pandemic happens, it will be 27 times more deadly than COVID, even if we do take the same level of medical progress as we did with coronavirus. We can already see how much a virus like COVID-19 could change the world. A virus like Marburg having the same widespread effect would be a global disaster. First, borders will be closed to all countries with confirmed cases. Cities will be quarantined. Medical workers would be overloaded both by the number of patients coming into the hospital and the number of bodies they'd have to deal with. It would be a mad rush to find a cure or a vaccine for the virus because the fate of the world would depend on getting that cure ready and distributed as soon as possible. Supply chains would be all but demolished and would practically need to be built from the ground up. Depending on which countries get hit the hardest by a pandemic like this, it could shift the global powers of the world. Any major country that gets infected would lose their global power and practically collapse. Even after the pandemic is over, there would be too few people left to sustain civilization, and the ones who are left would end up falling into poverty. So far, the government of Ghana has already made the right moves in preventing any further outbreaks. The government announced the Marburg cases early on to keep the world updated, and is working hard to keep their known cases under control. What made the COVID virus spread was lack of knowledge. Announcing an outbreak is one of the best preventative measures in case it spreads too much. It's difficult to determine how much the virus has already spread, since this was very recent, with both outbreaks being recorded in late July. It's still early in the outbreak and could be dormant among the victims. But as the situation stands, this outbreak seems to be well managed. Now all we can do is hope we learned enough from COVID to arm ourselves for the next major pandemic. We'll keep you updated on this and related topics, so be sure to subscribe and stay notified about the major events happening in the world.